Power Field at Mile High in Denver. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Just a short time ago, sounds loud enough to reverberate across the Rockies. They're ready for football in Denver as the Broncos get set to do battle with the Tennessee Titans. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, a new season finally here. We had the great one Thursday night, all sorts of intrigue in the games yesterday, and now we put a bow on this first weekend with a good one here tonight. We do put a spotlight on key games, don't we? Even key nights. Thursday night has become a spotlight night. How about Sunday night? But there still is some magic to playing on Monday night, and these two teams are feeling it. Takes this about five yards deep. They had no run back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. The former Missouri Tiger, Drew Locke, will be at quarterback as he leads out the Denver Broncos. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you, balance, because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. And yeah, this will get them all the way inside the Tennessee 20. A big play there on the first play of the game. And even 60 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now the first carry here for Phillip Lindsay. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 15-yard line. On second and 11 now. Lock. Open man. He completes it to Judy. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Sets up the screen to Gordon. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Broncos take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. In the discussion of how would this offense respond in week one, game one of the season, boom, they come out, get the football, and score. It's funny, didn't we ask them that question in our meetings, Brandon? We did. How, how are you going to respond? I think we got our answer, didn't we? We did. Straight down the field, well done. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Tennessee offense set to go to work for the first time, and at QB, the man signed to a big four-year deal back in March. That's Ryan Tannehill. A terrific athlete. Started at wide receiver before becoming the starting quarterback at Texas A&M and also took his studies pretty seriously as well. He was a biology major at Texas A&M, planned to become an orthopedic surgeon. But being the eighth pick in the NFL draft, that paid just a little bit better. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's Henry. First down and much more for Henry. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Running from the gun with Henry. And he 
is going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. Don't you do that. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Derrick Henry, the intended receiver, out of the backfield. And it's second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. He finds Corey Davis. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Corey Davis. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. He was a third-round pick, not rounds one or two, but this franchise, they think he can be something with time. There were a few teams that thought he would go in the first round late in the... And he will score! Touchdown, Titans! 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying this thing up. For the extra point. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield... They count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Taken in the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as Hamler elects not to return it. 25 yard line. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. Lock and the Broncos going to come up first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. And right away, he'll look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. For that time, he was looking for Jerry Judy. And now it's second down. Second and 10. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. To throw again. Block. Going underneath for Gordon. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. Gordon. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. And they brought the pressure there just right up the gut, didn't they? Yeah, they certainly did. And, you know, when you've got so many different responsibilities as an offensive line, you got to deal with the nose tackle, the two defensive tackles or ends, and then sometimes you just can't account for everyone. The linebacker slipped free. That'll be a 47-yard punt, officially five on the return. And it'll be Titan football at their own 29-yard line. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. And this one complete to Smith. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. First down, Tennessee. They'll run on first down. Henry. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield strike. He was taken down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. 
Bradley. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. On the coverage. is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing Charles to drop a pass. Oh, now Lindsey lost the football. And that might be Titan football. It is. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. And a gain of four gets them right to the midfield stripe. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and throw it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And the Titans' first down. Now we've got movement up front. I think this is going to be on the Titans. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe try to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to catch a pass. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Offense. These two teams all tied after one. The score tied seven to seven. They go play action here on first down. He's got Smith here. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a big play, yet amazingly, because of how far they had to go, they're still looking at a second down here. On second down, here's Henry. And he'll be taken down at the 2-yard line. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Well, coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. They'll try to run for it with Henry. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Titans have taken the lead. We got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space, but how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pads? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. Goskowski the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. On first down, Locke. He's got his big tight end, Fant. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. 
throwing again on second down. Lock, and this is going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Now a handoff to Henry. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Three-yard line. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight. On second down. It's Henry. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the ten-yard line. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or creep or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. On first down, it's Tannehill. They will find Davis. That's complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. That would good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. On first down, Henry. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. It's a loss of two. Brings up second and 12 at the 26-yard line. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Behind the chain, second and 12. From the gun, here's Tannehill. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. The Titans on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. And it falls incomplete after almost being intercepted. A pick there would have been great. The good news for the defense now, it's fourth down. So touchdowns on their first two drives, but looking like that won't be the case here. Yeah, it looks like someone put their dukes up a little bit, doesn't it? Maybe decide to finally make a stand because those first two drives, they got run over. Now, finally, got their feet under them, got a little bit of balance. They're getting off the field. First and 10 at their own 20. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. The drive will commence with a run by Lindsey. This will go for five up to the 33. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Throw here right side, he hauls it in. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 16 yards, a first down. The 49-yard line. On first and 10, here's Locke. And he hits his target, Deshaun Hamilton. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It's a gain of nine. Here's second and a yard at the 42-yard line. 54, Here's Locke. This is the tight end fan. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. For a Denver so here's a first and 10 at the 38. 
first and ten at the 38-yard line. Again, it's Locke. And he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. To throw again on second down. Lock. Now Lock. He wants the football to town. It's picked up by the Titans. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Defense, they were swarming that time and ultimately got to him before he could get rid of the football and knocked it free. And don't you feel just a little bit of sympathy for him back there, though? So much going on, so much swirling around. He's trying to find someone downfield. He's trying to move around to find an open target. Sometimes you forget the number one thing, take care of the football. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. And we remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll hand things off to the coach, Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have a look back at a very intriguing opening weekend in the NFL. Fourth down now as the Titans defense holds up in coverage. Melvin Gordon. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. The kick by McManus is good. And they've got the lead back down to four now at 14 10. These kickers now it used to be that a 50 plus yarder was cause for celebration. Now, seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny when we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers? It's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along. And now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Tannehill on first down, rolling to his right. He'll try and run it, and he'll be out right at the 35. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. That was an excellent job of recognizing the situation. His first read wasn't there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. First down. Tight. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. On play action, Tannehill. Forced out to his left. Now he'll pull it down. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate. And oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. And they'll watch this one fall in the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. Drew Locke once again leads the Broncos out. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure his team sees him as confident. Continue to try to up his game. But just let them know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me, we'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. A pass for Sutton is intercepted. 
picked off around the 37. Launch pass. Intercepted. You're trailing, you're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, Tannehill. It's caught, Smith. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving that. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. It's a pickup of six. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Dancing to his left. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. The hit comes late. We saw it. There's your flag. And we know that there's a guideline, right? Ball's gone. You get one step. If you're within one step of the quarterback, you can hit him as long as it's still done legally. But anything outside of that, looks like an extra step was involved. So a critical mistake roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Trying to punch it in with Henry. And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. Touchdown. Derrick Henry as the first half is winding down. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And this one will not be handled. It's into the end zone for a touchback. At their own 25. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. He's got this complete to Hamilton. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. A final shot before half for Locke. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started over at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta, where it was definitely a game with some entry, as you can see by the score line. 34-28, the final score. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Houston Texans. Patrick Mahomes, two touchdown passes, as his guys are able to get the victory in their season opener. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. In our game has been Ryan Tannehill, who's had the hot hand in the first half. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. 
And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. And here comes a big tight end as he gets set for this next drive. And we roll the highlights of the game he's had. You know, when we talk about wide receivers and how you shut them down, what about when you have a tight end like this having a game? How do you stop him defensively? It really changes what you're trying to do because defensively you're, you're worried more about the wideouts. Okay, how are we going to cover them? The running backs, how are you going to shut them down? But the tight end is that elusive, unique player. Linebacker covering, cornerback covering, safety covering him. Always has the advantage, usually has final answer against anyone who tries to defend him. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. He was From the 28, it's second and five. A gain of five brings up second and five. They'll run it again with Henry. A pickup of about three Henry yards Henry as he's taken Henry. down at the 31. Stop made by Jerome. Now, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed him down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Complete to AJ Brown. Again, One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brings up again, it's Henry. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. First down, Tennessee. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. First down, Titans gain of 12. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Henry relishing the chance to be the Titans' lead dog. He's in the backfield again on first and 10. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Oh, it's a jet sweep. Here's Davis. And here he'll get it down to the seven. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. At the four yard line. So second and goal and the big man Henry alone in the backfield. He'll get it up the middle. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Well, he made the play there, and I'll guarantee you, their coaches and the other players are screaming at them about their pride. Come on, guys, he's only gotten in three times, and you can't give up a fourth one. And on that play, they were able to make the stop. And you knew they were going to go to him to try to get that four. And he will score! Touchdown, Titans! Three touchdown passes now for Ryan Tannehill, and the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Extra point good by Gaskowski, and they open the lead up now to 25. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be fielded. It's a touchback and comes out to the 25. 25 yard line. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. Let's see what they have up their sleeve. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. 
They'll try to run with Lindsey. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Back at the five-yard line now. Second and goal. Lock on the give. It's Lindsey. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. To throw in his lock. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Jack Crawford in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. That's quite a stand there defensively. A huge sack on third down, and that's going to force him into a field goal attempt. And McManus able to put it through, and they're back within three scores as it's now a 22-point game. Well, that drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 22. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. You're three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. So that one will be accepted. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Here's Tannehill. This will be caught by Brown. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. First down, Tennessee. First down carry for Henry. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. First down, Titans gain of 12. And, uh, and that's the big fellas MO right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Welcome back now to Denver. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. On second down now, it's Henry. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they turn to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at him. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. Turning into a really good performance on the road. Week one, you're just hoping for that first win. It's tough to do it away from home, though, but they're looking strong. It certainly is. Any road win in the NFL is a great road win. I mean, it just does not matter whether it's supposed to be tough or not. In this particular situation, how great will they feel leaving with a win on the road against a tough opponent? A little work still to do, though. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as Hamler elects not to return it. And Denver getting set to take the field. And no doubt this is not the way that they had hoped to open their season. Thoroughly outplayed here in front of the national audience. 
The throw taken in by Hamilton. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. The pass there complete to Sutton. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. The throw over the middle taken in. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. It's a game Nothing game. fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, the offer can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Yeah. They certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, They've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it, and it took the ball off course. Locke will try again on second down. Now Locke, he lost the football, it's out. But it looked like, fortunately, the Broncos able to recover. Able to fall on it, but look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. It'll be a gain of 17, but even with that, they'll be well short here for fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. He's got a man, it's Sutton that's complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. First down. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Lock now on first down. And he's got his tight end fan. Touchdown, Broncos. Touchdown. 10 yards on the touchdown pass. And the Broncos cut into that lead. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Titans are going to recover the football. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort, at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the 41-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. Henry, not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. Marcel Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on his faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. A gain of He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way and worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. The ball carrier. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. At the 18-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Henry, able to fight Henry for about again, four right yards there to the 13. He was brought down at the well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit him over the top. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. And he's
going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. Now a timeout being called as there's an injured Titan down on the field. Oh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back on second down. It's Henry, and he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. The point after try for Goskowski. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. So that drive in total eight plays. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they will watch this one land in the end zone. That'll be a touchback at their own 25-yard line. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. These fans just kind of beside themselves right now. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Second and five. Looking to throw again on second down. Lock got a man that's complete to Hamilton. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. Throwing on first down is Lock. That's complete. It's Gordon. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. For a 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. First and 10 at the 48. On first down, Locke gets it to Gordon. It'll be a gain of six, and it's a second down. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can, these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, you heave one deep when you catch him close to the spot. Able to get this to Gordon. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Locke looks to throw it again. Got Gordon open, completes it. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Block now on first down. Throw to the right here to Gordon. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books, gonna be a great season. Oh man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for Tennessee...